Let me try to demonstrate the text blender through a case story. Before I start preparing my exercises, I think it is important to have a place to put them, to save them. I have a Dropbox folder on my computer. That folder is in Documents and Settings, my name, my documents, my Dropbox, and I am in the public part of that folder. Here I will make a new folder. I call it Robomo, and this is where I want to save my exercises. I have prepared some exercises uh, using hot potatoes, and I will copy those, Control C, and paste them into the empty folder. My first step is to select media. There are four options. One might be obsolete, it means no media, but it can still be important to tell the software that there will not be any media playing. I can select to have a video player, I can also have an audio player, and I can choose a YouTube video. I want to have a local video player, so I click up here. I have to select where that video file is, so I have to locate a video file. I have some in my documents. The video is called Robomo. I select that one. I'll then we'll have a look at instructions. Up here I can type in a headline, which is the same headline which will appear there. I will put in a headline called Robomo. Robomo and automatic. Lawnmower. Click on a word to look it up in the dictionary. That is the instruction that will be below there. A web file to continue to when the user clicks next. I have prepared a web file that I call cross1.htm. That file has been made with the software called Hot Potatoes. You can go to the pools website, www.languages.dk, click on tools, and you can learn how to use Hot Potatoes where you can create different exercises. I then want a text to tell about the copyright. I now want to enter a block of text. And I have prepared a text which I've copied into Notepad, so just copy all of that text, Control C. I move into the text blender and click on the button called Paste Text. I now click Finish. It's possible to delete the text. You can change the font, but that does not make any change on the final web page, but it can make some font uh, visible in the text blender. Usually you would not need that button. Just click finish. So I can see now that I have a video, I have a text block. Now I need to decide on a dictionary. The text was in English so I start with English and I would like a dictionary from English to Danish there. I can click on a summary to see the, that the web page headline is Robomo and Automatic Lawnmower. I start with a video player. The instruction is ready. The main part of the web page has 434 words. And the next button will send the user to an exercise called cross2.htm. And there is a copyright note. My next step is to export the web page that I have created, I click export. Right now I just want to export the web page. So I have to find my Dropbox, the public folder, 
there is the RoboMo folder, and I will name it Robotics. So I call it Robotics. And it is now ready to be open with my Internet Explorer. Let's try that. In my Dropbox public RoboMo folder, I can now see that I have the file Robotic, which is the one that I've just created with the Text Blender. But there is also now a RoboMo video.wmv. That file has been copied automatically by the Text Blender to the final folder. I now click on the file Robotics HTM to see that it works. And the video starts. I can click on the different words. Let me try to click on Moa. It has now looked up the word from English to Danish. Moa, which in Danish is plane clipper. Should I want it in another language? I could say Polish and click Go. And the word has now been translated into Polish. I would also like to test if it works with the next button. That should take me to the next exercise. And there it is a crossword puzzle prepared with hot potatoes. Right now these files run from my local disk, my local hard disk. It would be nice to run it from the real internet. And that is where the beauty of the Dropbox comes in. Of course here I have the file robotics.htm. After I install Dropbox all files that are put into the public area of Dropbox are automatically moved to the Internet. So, to find the address on the Internet, I right-click the robotics.htm. There is a Dropbox line, and I can copy the public link. Then I go to my browser and paste it in and press enter and it is now running from the internet and that is the address that I got from right clicking the file in my public folder 